Eight years ago, on July 13, 2006, was one of the happiest days of our lives. Our first and only daughter was born, Rebecca Ava. She was beautiful, olive skin, brown eyes, she was just perfect. And we were so happy to have her home. But within the first day, we saw some symptoms that we were very concerned about. We called the pediatrician, they said to do certain things. We rushed her to the emergency room and we were met with doctors that told us that she would be fine and she had a common cold. We pleaded with them, we said just readmit her, take a blood test, do something. But they made us feel a little crazy, like, you know, you're being neurotic, you're being overprotective. We took her home, she passed away the next day, losing a child stays with you. A piece of you is gone forever. Children are our most vulnerable population. They have specialized problems and they don't just have the same problems adults do scaled down to a small child. Rather they have things that are unique that need not only specialized equipment but more importantly specialized and sophisticated care by physicians, nurses, and other caregivers. About one in five children every year seeks the care of emergency services. 90% of the hospitals in the country are general hospitals and not specialized in pediatric care. So the consequence is that while there are a lot of children in need of care, they're often going to a facility that may not be properly primed for their needs. Eight years later, after Rebecca died, not a day goes by that I don't think about her. And that's why Our Baby was founded, to make sure that every single baby and child gets the best available health care. And we started out with simulation training for doctors, to re-educate them, to have them learn the proper techniques. The Our Baby Foundation simulation program uh, came to our hospital and uh, uh, offered their services to anyone who wanted to participate. The program was fantastic. But more importantly um, is what happened later that day. I was working in another emergency department. An 18-month-old boy was brought in by mom who had been sick for about a day and a half. He had a very fast heart rate. Uh, he had a fever. I took what I found in that class, specifically the administration of fluids and the constant reassessment of vital signs. After we had rehydrated him, his heart rate spontaneously resolved. A few short seconds after that, his eyes opened. Uh, he sort of smiled. In life, things happen for a reason. There was a reason I was there that morning to have that class, and there was a reason I was in the ED that evening at seven o'clock. That's why I'm here today, is because I believe in this. I think it's a great program. Our goal is to make sure that any baby in an emergency situation gets the appropriate care. What we focus on is working with doctors and with physicians to understand how we can improve medical health care for children. The solution is to begin to set up a network of collaboration whereby physicians and other health care providers in children's hospital help interact, engage, educate, and collaborate with people in other facilities so that we constantly have the dialogue that helps raise everybody's expertise and that we help bolster the services in a general hospital so that they rise towards the same level of sophistication that one might find in a pediatric hospital. This is what I think our baby's magic will be, and that is to create a network that allows individuals to have a conversation with the opportunity of raising expertise through conversation, through sharing of experience, and potentially moving patients under circumstances when the physical resources or the human resources are not appropriate at a particular site. Foundations such as the Our Baby Foundation are exactly what we need to educate the people who are seeing the children in emergency departments now. Our Baby is trying to make sure that we have qualified pediatric specialists in emergency rooms. Congratulations, Our Baby. Our Baby rocks. But to know that all the work that we've done not only improves healthcare, but actually saves someone's life is why we want to say thank you. And thank you so much for supporting Our Baby.